Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this quick collection showcase, that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. Continuing my tour of the complete Generation 1 Hasbro collection in little snippet videos as requested by my Instagram followers. What we're going to be focusing on today with this video is this detail shelf here with Autobots in it, Micromasters and some European exclusives, Action Masters as well. We're going to start off at the very top. We've got a large box, obviously, for the Micromaster base countdown. We've got Thunder Clash's box. We've got two ground shakers, but you'll notice there's two different names. That's because this is the Gig Italian variant. And there's the standard Hasbro ground shaker. We've also got Overrun and we've got the Micromaster tanker truck as well. Right, if we pan down onto the first shelf, we've got some European exclusives and some figures that did bridge the gap into Generation 2. And sometimes they're referred to as Generation 1.5. So we've got the Rescue Force, which are all here. And these were literally just repaints, as you can see there, of Lyo Kaiser, which of course was a Japanese exclusive. Except with these, not only did they repaint them, there was only four of them. And of course, they couldn't combine. We've also got Rotorstorm, who now people are aware of because we've had a newer version of him. We've then got the motivators at the back. And as you can see, these also had the same breast forming gimmick, which the Japanese ones had. And again, these are redecos of Road Caesar bots. We've also got Pyromagna at the back, Thunderclash there. Then we've got Scorch, Hurricane, some of the little bots here. And of course, we've got Iron Fist there as well. So a lot of them people might not have seen. Moving down to the next shelf, we've got Micromasters. And we've got pretty much all of them in here. We've got a few sec selections sealed. So we've got Monster Truck Patrol, Battle Patrol, Construction Patrol, Hot Rod Patrol. And then this one I always forget. So I am literally going to have a quick look. Air Patrol. There you go. And then at the back you can see we've got some of the actual mini bases as well. As the strangest name on Erector. And rough stuff is over there. We've got all the individual little teams there. They were in their fours. I think they pretty much still are, as you can see. Including, again, some of the later released ones that didn't seem to do as well. Moving down to the Action Master shelves. So we'll start with these ones here, because these are the ones that people probably haven't seen. So these are the European exclusives. That is Trax. That is Sideswipe. And I hope that that's Power Flash, but I think I might have forgot it. And then we've got Circuit and we've also got Rumbler there as well. And of course, the great big one is Optimus Prime. We've got a G2 Iron Hide there behind Jazz. And then just the standard normal Action Masters, Bumblebee, Snarl, Inferno, etc. Oh, there's a G2 Sideswipe hiding in the back there as well. And on the bottom shelf, we've just got the normal Action Masters. So there's Jackpot again, who we now know. Grimlock, there's a Cardi Grimlock and Jackpot. We've got Inferno, Kickoff, and Rollate. And the carded ones. And then we've got Wheeljack in his car there. Funnily enough, that's what this box is that's our flat packed because it's got no internal parts. And there's all the rest of the Action Masters. So this completes this particular part of the tour. Just a few more to go. Then we're going to be moving on to the Japanese exclusives. Hope you're enjoying this, guys. Let me know in the comments and take care. Thanks for watching, like and comment, and don't forget to subscribe.